I see a future in New York City where it's it's gonna have to be like that because the way that the dollar is going, um, you're better off. Like actually, you'd be running the block if all of a sudden you just switched up your currency and everybody else is taking dollars and you're like, hey, I'm the I'm the only uh, corner street guy taking bitcoins. Yeah. For any corner street guys out there. <laughs> no, that's one thing I really appreciate appreciate about you. You know, you're very open about living in New York and the regulation there is pretty tight, pretty crazy. It's it's yeah, hard yeah. to participate in crypto when you're in a state like that. So, what what is yeah, that yeah. like living that in that environment? It takes um, a lot of realization that there's only going to be a choke channel, like what uh, Charles was saying, uh, Cardano founder. Yeah. Um, but um, those choke points are for regulation, and that's why they're using New York to figure out this this uh, this style of how do, how does someone live their life and we tax them that's kind of how i feel with, with living in new york and being in crypto and like being public about it it's basically me um not i always say like uh it, there's always people on, in the blockchain that are gonna forever wear a ski mask but crypto is becoming clear net and you don't really need to continuously think like everything you do should be ski mask activity yeah exactly <laughs> like it's, yeah. And that's that's what's crazy about living in New York. Um, you're seeing the businesses come to life. There's actually a Bitcoin cafe out here that I found because in order to uh, buy and sell uh, Bitcoins with a New Yorker, you need to have a Bit license, um, which uh, that's what postpones a lot of opportunity here in New York, where only so many people have Bit licenses. That's why I'm bullish on Base because Coinbase has a Bit license, so their blockchain is more of uh likely to be seen at uh, like a, like anywhere because now people can use that's what that's why uh, i'm sorry i'm getting off everywhere because this is why base is so bullish since coinbase has all of these regulational areas they can literally give the developer base now and say hey build something on this and then we'll be able to bring it to market yeah yeah for sure that's true with coinbase and that's interesting about the bit license too you know that's there, there, I think crypto, reg, there's good regulation and there's bad re regulation. And yeah. in a way, like the, the, the bit license does enable businesses to transact in crypto, but it's it's almost too overreaching and too overarching. You know, it's 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 prohibitive. Yeah. It, it's tough to, to start a crypto Bro, business. Bro. Yeah, it, it really it's tough, you know, especially in, in New York. Bro. Yeah, you know, in that crypto prohibition uh, phase. That's now, do crazy. you th obviously? Uh, I, do you think it's because of Wall Street? Obviously, New York is so hard. They want to. The banks want to drive crypto out of New York. Yeah, I, actually, I think it's more for monetization, like on a grand scale of things, so that the uh, uh, so that Wall Street knows how to monetize crypto instead of allowing it to be a wild wild west, and then they're learning with us. Yeah, right? that's why they can cancel seven ETFs. <laughs> They're like, actually, you guys want to learn what an ETF cancel is like since we're learning <laughs> yeah. about cryptocurrency. Like, this is what it's like for your ETF to get canceled. Oh, but, for sure. Um, Especially with BlackRock. You know, can you believe that? You know, they've only had like one ETF canceled ever. Mm -hmm. Gary Gensler's got some balls, man. He's just like, no, <laughs> no crypto for you. <laughs> Not until 2026, Gary said. Yep. So I'll be out in 26. But like, um, uh, going back to the bit license thing it's actually good for a business because uh, i found this bitcoin cafe because i go and i check it and i like update myself on like is there any new businesses it also is a way for me to see um what uh or who out there is really trying to play the game like another uh person who just got a bit license is moonpay but they don't have a, a really good regulational bit license so they can't do everything coinbase can do and that like taught me that there's going to be even levels to your regulation <laughs> sure yeah and and that's that's how you build business though um i once upon a time ago worked in a small business uh in a streetwear boutique in san francisco when i was in college literally it was like me the owner and two other people so i learned a lot about like trying to expand or trying to grow um and it's really hard when you have all these regulations yeah you gotta do it the right way exactly you can't just go, yeah you can't just go and just freestyle because you know you'll have you know the worst yeah for sure the funny story about moonpay you know, i i, I kind of 
I like MoonPay and the idea of MoonPay. I like that they're a U.S. company, and I was using them regularly, and I, I would participate. I, I'm a big Cardano fan. I love Cardano. I love the CNFTs. I have hundreds of Cardano NFTs, and uh, that that was my on-ramp, was MoonPay. So I'd buy some Cardano with MoonPay, have it sent to my ADA wallet. One day I went to log in, and they're like, your account's blocked. So I tried to open another account, and they're like, you, you know, your, your visa card's blocked, your social security's blocked. And I, I can't get an explanation why. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything malicious. I'm just buying these stupid cartoons, you know, cartoon <laughs> NFTs, <laughs> profile pics. That's probably what happened to you. Yeah. And it's funny about you. So even today, you know, I, I would like, because I'm always looking for a good on-ramp. Um, but yeah, I, I can't use MoonPay. I, I support them being a U.S. company and everything, but they won't even tell me why I'm blocked. <laughs> You know what's crazy? I had that same experience with Gemini. Really? Exchange. Yeah, that was my. They have a bit license, so I was trying to use them, but um, they blocked me because I sent Ethereum to us directly to a smart contract. Oh no! And they, yeah, that's that was their flag. It was like, oh wait, hold on, you, you're not, you're not sending it to an address. This is like a direct smart contract. But that was way back, like 2019, 18. Yeah. And they flagged me, and I've never been able to go back. So. <laughs> I'm pretty Coinbase. surprised to see that this dip on a uh, Bitcoin right now. We're, we're kind of coming down. We're under twenty six thousand now, twenty seven or twenty five seven fifty. So I'm surprised people are selling on the announcement of the delays. So you know, they, they, even though they did reject the ETFs, they're just delaying them forty five days. And yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin holders said, "No, I want out." 